In my 35 years in the Church of Scientology, there is one thing I learned very thoroughly. The Church of Scientology is homophobic, anti-gay. Not just slightly, but voluminously. The fact of being gay is looked at as a kind of disease or even a mental condition. Joining us now from Washington is Kevin Naff, the editor of The Blade. So Scientology, you say, tries to turn gays into straights, and that's why you're mad at them? Absolutely. That's, that's reason enough to be mad at them. But, but yeah, it's well documented, uh, and they don't even bother to deny it anymore, uh, that they operate reparative therapy clinics uh, to cure gay people. It is one of the worst slurs that is directed at gays. It has totally been debunked by every credible medical association on the planet. Reparative therapy does not work. The church has a technique to find your ruin. Give us money and we'll help you overcome your ruin. What, what is destroying your life? And sexual conduct within the Church of Scientology is heavily monetized. Show me the money. I, 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 this is a little bit off the subject of gay, but I had an OT7, one level from the highest level of the bridge, tell me that they paid $3,000 for one session, counseling session, to give up the crime of masturbation. One masturbation, $3,000 for the church. This is a religion that monetizes your gayness. Give us money and we'll audit that. That's holding you back, that's irregular, that's a kind of insanity. That is what they call aberrated. They love gay money. When gays pay in tens of thousands of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars, as, as I did, I paid in almost a half a million dollars to Scientology. They love that. They'll accept any gay checks, any gay cash, anything like that. But as soon as you stop paying, ah, you're back into the 1.1 crowd again. Ah, you're not worth even bothering with anymore. It was around the time of Proposition 8 that, that things started to really get to a head. Proposition 8 was a California initiative to block gay marriage. I was out with my daughters trying to do picketing and donating money to try and uh, stop Proposition 8. And then I found out that a, a branch of the church was supporting it, and I got very upset. This is a religion that monetizes your gayness. Give us money and we'll audit that. That's holding you back, that's irregular, that's a kind of insanity. That is what they call aberrated. Your sexuality, says the Church of Scientology, is aberrated. If you're gay, you're a kind of subhuman, little bit batty, little bit loony, little bit it's a disease, and we give us $100,000, and we'll get the gay exercised out of you. Let me tell you something. I was a senior CS, supervising cases. I was really in the mindset, yes, when I look at it all, I shake my head in disbelief. But I do not know of one person in 35 years whether they gave $100,000 to the Church of Scientology or half a million dollars to the Church of Scientology. They were still gay. All they had was a less lowered bank account. You don't audit gayness or 
a desire to be transgendered or a desire to be the sexual preference. You don't counsel that out of someone. David Miscavige uses homophobic anti-gay words when he rants and his right-hand man for admin not his right-hand man for Osir, but his right had his right-hand man was Mark Yeager and he was WDC CMO Int that was his title watchdog of it he was very high responsibility level and Guillaume Lerseff, Executive Director International. These are two as high as you could go in a hierarchy. And Miscavige unmercifully accused these two of being gay with each other. And he ran it on them and ran it on them, humiliating in public. And one day he said the most incredulous thing for, the, for a religious leader. He said, the only expansion that you know, Jaeger, is Guillaume's, you know what, right up your butt. They shared a room. The way the birthing is set up, you live on site in the sea organization. So they shared a room, which is what, you know, like you put two girls in a room. <laughs> if you're on a cruise and you're sharing your cabin, <laughs> you don't put the other, two of the same sex, so they were in the same room. And Mark got so upset with the humiliation in front of that he took his bedding and he took it out into the field as a, just a protest. This, is, this happened before S.P. Hole the dreaded suppressive person whole gulag came into existence. So Mark took his bedding and went to live out in the, in the, you know, in the shrubs just because he couldn't stand another day of hazing. But it just shows you how hated the homosexuality was that the leader of the church, David Miscavige, would use it as a racial slur, as an N-word, you dirty homosexual. The churches of the Scientology of the world are not expanding because you two are giving it to each other in the butt. I had a friend of mine um, not so long ago. Sh she's out of the church, but she... <laughs> The local class five org had been hassling her to join staff and really saying, well, you can do it part time and we need you and we need your talent. So she goes to the office where you fill in an application form. And I believe it was question number five. Are you, have you ever done prostitution homosexuality or other sexual perversion? It's on the staff application form, question number five. Homosexuality is equated with prostitution and perverted sex. That is the mindset of the Church of Scientology.